Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a PGA implementation of scalable QR decomposition for broadband MIMO systems. And this is my partner, Minsu, and my name is Hwang Hung. Okay, this is agenda for today. Uh, I will uh, introduce a little bit about background and objective of our project first, and then a specification. And I will talk about uh, the two major algorithms of QR decomposition. Uh, first one is a given rotation, and second is Gram-Schmidt. And my partner will cover function verification with MATLAB and implementation, demonstration, and finally conclusion. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to start with the uh, uh, MIMO antenna system. Uh, here is the MIMO antenna system. Uh, in the MIMO antenna system, there are multiple antennas in transceiver and receivers. So, its uh, char uh, channel characteristic is not so simple like a CISO system. Single input, single output. Uh, so, this can be represented with uh, like a, as a matrix form like this. And here is a receive stream of MIMO system. Y is a receive signal, and X is a, a transmitted signal. H is a channel characteristic matrix, and N is a white Gaussian noise vector. So how can you find the transmit vector X from the received vector Y? Mm, we can use a inverse matrix of channel characteristic matrix H. But it is not so simple like this equation because uh, as the matrix size is larger and larger, it is harder and harder to find the inverse matrix. So we can use a QR decomposition in this case. First, by using the QR decomposition, uh, decompose <coughs> matrix H to Q and R matrix. And Q matrix is an orthogonal matrix, so Q transpose multiply Q is an identity matrix, and R is an upper triangular matrix. So. Uh, R is a MN, N by N matrix where the entries below the main diagonals are zero. And with uh, final equation, we can find the transmitted vector x, x when the noise N is minimum value. So here's, here's our specification. Uh, our target clock frequency is 100 to 105 megahertz. And uh, our input matrix size can be two by two, from two by two to eight by eight, and it should be scalable, like that. And after the decomposition, Q matrix should be a square matrix, and uh, the element of our input matrix is limited from minus one to one. And here's a structure of our system. There are five inputs and two outputs. Okay, from now, uh, I'm going to introduce two major algorithms of QR decomposition. The first one is uh, Gibbons rotation. Uh, the main idea of Gibbons rotation is make, making a upper triangular matrix by using vector rotation. Uh, with this algorithm, we can find uh, uh, cosine theta and sine theta. And uh, like this mechanism, we can rotate uh, with this value, we can rotate certain vector like that. So with this mechanism, we can find uh, Q matrix and R matrix with that algorithm. And this is a given rotation. And another one is the modified Gram-Schmidt algorithm. And uh, both of them are scalable, and but it is more simple. So it is more, it has more better scalability than Gram-Schmidt uh, given rotation algorithm. And, but there is a, a constraint. Uh, it is, uh, constraint is that uh, the input matrix should have full length, rank, but if the input matrix is, doesn't have full length, we need to transform the input matrix like that. Uh, we have to fill uh, H tilde, like, uh, like this equation, and H tilde can be an uh, identity matrix usually. It is trivial choice. Okay, from now, my partner will continue the presentation. Hi, my name is Sukang, and I'm going to present the rest of the presentation. Uh, first is uh, complexity for the given rotation and modify the cram Uh In order to evaluate the complexity, we used the 4x4 complex matrix, input matrix. So 
For the gram machine image, it requires 210 multiplications to complete all of QRT composition. And it has the six given the rotation operation, which consists of one addition, two divide, division, one multiplication, and one scale root operations. For the modified gram machine image case, uh, it requires only 48 multiplication, but it has the norm and inverse norm operations, each uh, four here. But uh, using the inverse scale root uh, approximations, you can reduce the complexity of the norm and inverse norm operations. Like uh, only we can implement the norm and inverse norm operations uh, with only 11 add and adder and subtraction subtractor and four multipliers and for the norm operations, one uh, additional one additional multiplier is required. And based on the complexity and the scalability, we selected the modified Gram Schmidt to implement the QRD composition. Uh, next is uh, error simulations. After choosing the uh, the algorithm, we simulate the algorithm in MATLAB with a 16-bit uh, precision and inverse scale to approximation function. The result says that the mean of error, the mean of Mean of error is 1.6% and the standard deviation is 2.7. So it says that 95% of the samples has an error within 5.3% of the mean. So the each element of the output has the has some errors within 10%, which is acceptable. And here's the black diagram of the hardware implementation. And and the, on the left side, it has an input, and then there's a uh, two inverse normal operation block here, and the normal operation block here. And this is a subtractor, and this is multiplication. And this block is for the multiplication for the matrix. So T is a transpose. The, this one is a perform the product of the uh, product of the transpose transpose of the one input and the another input. So and then it uses several boxes here. And then there's a uh, two output ports for the uh, phone matrix Q and then three output ports for the optometric matrix R. And I'm gonna show you the uh, I'm gonna demonstrate the our uh, system generics block right after we explain some of the uh, system generic simulation. And we achieve the uh, the system generous block with a five nanosecond clock period, which is a 200 megahertz speed, and which is the higher than the, our target speed. Our target speed is from 100 to 150 megahertz. And then total number of cycles to complete all of things is 127 cycles. And let me show you the uh, system generous block and. Okay, it's coming. Okay, this is a system generous law. Uh, it's quite uh, complicated, but basically it's uh, pretty same as the the uh, black diagram that I showed you before, and. This size, uh, and this size is input, and then uh, some of block, some of blocks has the selection signals and the inhibition signals, which is come from the MATLAB, and the input also comes from the MATLAB. So let me 